all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. Titanfall 2 is back, this time with a fully formed single player, but is that enough for your hard-earned cash? My name is James from Games Radar, and to answer that question is Dave from Games Radar. Hello. Hello, Dave. So this, to begin with, isn't your regular FPS, right? It's a lot more based around opportunities for movement and clever tactics. Yeah, I mean, if you if you like Doom, this will blow your mind, effectively. It's 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 all about Titanfall, the original Titanfall's traversal mechanics, all the, the speed of it, the wall, wall running, the double jumping, the constant chaining from wall to wall and get, covering a mile without touching the ground. That always had huge scope if they could craft it into a single campa- single player campaign and make it work. Oh, good God, they have, right? It's... It's the fastest, most kinetic, most creative, most endlessly never know what's going to happen, but you're always in complete control shooter. We've played probably since Doom, but obviously it, it play, it's got very much got its own feel. It's very much, its focus is very different in terms of the way you get around. Um, but in terms of arena design and the way the campaign funnels that stuff, it is... It always had a lot of potential, but the way this has been crafted is so far beyond what I was expecting. It's incredibly good. Okay, then. Well, let's talk about the campaign. Yes. Six or seven hours long. It's kind of, yeah. I mean, obviously, this is a game made by uh, Respawn, who kind of, you know, came from Infinity Ward, and it's definitely got that Infinity Ward brevity. But um, it... You, you kind of can't begrudge it because it doesn't waste a minute. I mean, it would have been... The core combat systems are so endlessly open-ended and fun and fluid and just constantly gratifying that that would have been enough. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't just do that. This, it's about ideas as much as systems this campaign. Like, every hour, every mission, it throws you a brand new spin that completely refocuses. Like, this incredible fun you're already having in a whole new direction. It showcases it with, you know, combat and, like, completely combat-free puzzles and pure platform traversal and stuff that blends all three together at completely different times in whole new ways um it it, it's got that kind of that sort of endless creativity you expect from like a valve game or a nintendo game where it's just here's a new toy go play with this and just as you're getting used to it it'll pull it away give you a brand new one and the annoying thing is i can't talk about any of them because it would spoil so much because there's so much exciting stuff going on here but just just go in trusting me that it's an endlessly gratifying, endlessly inventive game, and you know you'll never know what's coming up next. Okay, high praise then. Uh, so six or seven hours, you'd say long enough then? I'd say not long enough because I just wanted more. By the end of it, I was like, I can take another. I mean, it's perfectly paced as well. It's pr- it reminds you how good Infinity Ward were back in the day of like COD Four, because in terms of the pacing and escalation and um, just the overall storytelling and blending that with action and narrative, it's so on point. It all. It makes everyone, most of the devs, look a bit lazy in that respect. It is fantastically crafted, but you will want more of it by the end of it, yeah. Okay. But, but again, there's not a minute wasted either. It's like, there's, n- there's no filler whatsoever. So it's not just you in the campaign mode. Tell me about your robot friend, BT7274. Oh, BT. Yeah, giant robot friend. So he, can you play as him? Yes. Uh, well, you pilot him, which is effectively the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, he's kind of like your wingman and your narrative buddy and mate by the end of it basically he's brilliant um let's say he's always present but not always immediately present in the you know he's the, your main means of traversing the woods the various worlds the game will be set on um he's always the even just as a voice in your ear mm-hmm. but the game's really good at, br- at pacing how it breaks up kind of in met combat versus on foot stuff uh where sometimes you know you'll find a situation that only one of you can deal with or you, you need to deal with it together um but it's it's very not only is the comp- the mech combat great, it's really, really good at knowing exactly when to take it away and drop it back in for these big dramatic kind of peaks and troughs as well. And it does some beautiful stuff with that. And it does a really great job of building the relationship between the two of you as well. Because there's a lot of dialogue that mm-hmm. well, constant dialogue between the two of you, which in a lot of shooters could be quite throwaway and go over your head. But it does this really smart thing of giving you dialogue choices every time he talks to you, which gives this really it builds up quietly but gives you a great sense of kind of bond and friendship between the two of you as well. Um, but yeah, as for actual mech combat, it's fantastic. Um, it's you get as you go along, you get six different loadouts that build up. They've got very different purposes. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the, everything from sniping to over effect to just pure heavy lock on damage. Um, and it builds levels and enemy challenges around those as you get them as well. But you can switch them whenever you want. Um, so yeah, I mean that it could have been just a big fun dumb robot smash up to kind of 
give you a bit of catharsis. And it does that, but it's it's much smarter and more strategic than you're expecting as well. Okay, single player sounds great then. Let's talk about multiplayer. Now, yep. everyone's played this in the beta and has yeah. probably watched our preview video. Yeah. So what else is there to say about this? There's new features in it. Yes, we I played a lot of the multiplayer in its finished form now um, and it's great it's again it's it's really smart in terms of it knows that Titanfall 1's multiplayer well the entire game because it was multiplayer um, just worked it was it was tuned up it was polished it felt great so it's about augmenting that with mm -hmm. extra layers and depth rather than just dropping the big gimmick this time around. So the key thing is there's a ton more pilot abilities now which are now part of your loadout there's none of that single-use burn card. No crap. burn cards. None of that rubbish. It's just you unlock it, you go, use them. Um, they really diversify what your pilot can do. It's, it's incredibly well-balanced, mm -hmm. but every pilot can play a slightly different version of Titanfall multiplayer. You know, if you want to, if you really want to augment the high-flying stuff, then use the grapple hook, and that adds so much height and scope to everything you can do in a really creative kind of way. Um, if you want to go stealthy, you've got you have the old cloaks back. If you want to play misdirection, you've got hollow pilots that you can throw out as diversions. There's like throwable radar items that you can just throw at any building you're assaulting. If you want to go like a really rapid ground-based game and not waste any time, that'll just show you everything you're hitting on the way in. So everyone's playing. It lets everyone form a really personal strategy around these game systems that are already brilliant. Mm. So it just makes it a much more kind of unique and diverse game, really. It's basically all about customization now. You can paint your robots, you can paint your guns. Oh yeah, there's some great skins, there's loads of stuff. There's tons and tons of guns, which, you know, there's the broad categories that make huge differences and the kind of little tweaks in between where you find, like, just that optimal one for your play style and that almost kind of destiny kind of way. So you'll get much more attached to your gear and your loadouts now, yeah. Okay, so in summary then, sum it all up and whack a score on it. It is, it's probably the biggest surprise this year. You know, it genuinely, I thought it was going to be good. It's absolutely blindingly good. Very smart, beautifully well crafted. Huge amount of care and attention to every area. And yeah, just abs an absolute blindsider that I'm really happy about. So it's an easy 4.5. An easy 4.5. Okay, thanks Dave. Uh, for more Titanfall 2 info, check out gamesradar.com. And for more games news, reviews, previews and features, keep it here on GamesRadar+. Plus. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can...